What is going on, everybody? I had a crazy, crazy card show yesterday. You guys don't want to miss this one. Started off the show. We got there about an hour after it started at about 11. There wasn't too much traffic uh, when we first got there. As the show kind of went on, though, it got pretty busy. Look at all the traffic there. We managed to stop at a few tables with a whole lot of good vintage stuff. I ended up getting most of the stuff from one dealer in particular. I ended up with a whole lot of awesome PC cards as well as some new inventory. And here is actually the table we got most of the stuff from. He had just an insane table. Started off with this little lot here with this Leaf Joe DiMaggio, some 49 Bowmans from my PC, 49 Leaf Rizzuto, and as soon as we left his table, we managed to come back and get another huge item that I will show later. All right, this was an awesome, awesome card show. As you can see, the first little lot we got had in here, this 1949 Leaf Joe DiMaggio. This was the biggest card in the lot. This one's probably gonna be a one. I don't think they'd give it an authentic, but the color on it is really nice. It's pretty well centered, even though it's beat up. That's an awesome Joe DiMaggio card. Had another Leaf card in there. It's the Phil Rizzuto. This one's also poor condition. Although I don't think it has any creases, just kind of staining and all that. Had a awesome, awesome looking, one of the nicest I've ever seen raw copies of this 1954 Tops Ted Williams. I don't know if you can see it in the, there's a certain light, there it is, that you can see a bit of a wrinkle in there, but it looks amazing. As you can see, the colors are super bright. Borders are super white. It's got pretty good corners. This was one of my favorite cards of the day, easily. Set him down there. Had a 49 Bowman. Phil Rizzuto was the last card in this first deal. This one also, like the Ted Williams, has awesome color. Awesome orange background. Very vibrant colors. So that was the first lot we had. Also picked up this nice 53 Bowman. I also picked up this nice 53 Bowman Hall of Fame lot from him. Went back to his table and grabbed a lot of these Hall of Famers along with one other card that we'll show at the very end. It's a Phil Rizzuto. Most of these are in like good condition, maybe VG, Billy Martin, got a Campy, Feller. This one actually has some paper loss on the back. That was kind of a throw in. That's one of my favorite looking cards in the set though. The Duke Snyder. So that was one of the other deals we made with him. There was two more deals. Also had these leaf cards here. Had a Lou Boudreau. These are probably also in good condition or so. Doesn't have any creases. This Ralph Kiner. The colors look pretty nice on this has almost like a chunk missing or something here. So that one's probably an authentic, I would assume. Nevertheless, still good looking card. Another Bobby Doerr. Just got one of these back from SGC. Still had to grab another one though. And then as a little throw in, had this 62 tops, Mini Minoso. There was one more deal we made. This was with a different dealer for this 1952 Tops Look and See, Babe Ruth. I've never uh, had one of these before. I don't see many of them. I think I looked it up and there's about a thousand or so, maybe 1500 graded. But the colors on this one are all right. Well centered. I don't think it's that hard to find centered though. It's still an awesome Babe Ruth card. Give him a stand here. Are you guys ready for this? I don't know if you guys are ready for this. 
Okay, here we go. 51 Bowman, Mickey Mantle, rookie card. I paid $2,400 for this because of the writing. But honestly, if you ask me, I don't mind it. I'd much rather have that than some type of mustache or beard, something drawn on him. If there's gonna be writing, why not have it be his name? And this one is not going anywhere. This one's going straight into the PC, into the vault. And we'll figure out a way to make it work, but he's not going anywhere. Absolutely awesome card. I saw it the first time we were at his table and went back to it later and was just like, okay, how did we not buy that? Because we had asked him about a price and it didn't even register at first. I just kind of was looking at other stuff, bought other stuff. And I was about to leave the table and I turned back around and I was like, no, I need, I need the mantle. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below, make sure to stay tuned for future videos. I'll see you guys later.